This edition of RV with me and Seagrens is sponsored by Seagrens RV. If you had an RV, where would you go that was just a short drive away? What if we told you there was a true RV Mecca just 45 minutes south of the Bay Area? We visit Casa de Fruta, a truly unique outdoor experience with a variety of shops and food. Looking for more bang for your RV buck? Consider an RV for sale by owner. We'll show you the easy way to buy a for sale by owner RV with confidence. So, you have a bunch of outdoor toys. How do you dial them into the mix for a bunch of outdoor fun? We'll check out the latest in exciting toy haulers. All this and so much more coming up on this edition of RV With Me. RV With Me and Seagrand. Well, Randy, why should folks buy an RV here at Seagrand's RV? Well, you know, we're one of the largest RV dealerships in uh, Northern California, largest indoor showroom in probably the United States. We, um, we have a great selection of, and we carry the America's favorite RVs, favorite RV lines. Mm -hmm. We have um, about a 1% profit margin, so people can expect great values here. And we're family owned and we care about folks. Oh, that's, you can't get any better than that. Well, speaking of fun, let's go to Casa de Fruta and see what Julie Callahan is doing there. It was so much fun. God, let's go. Hi, this is Julie Callahan, and we're here with one of the owners, Jean Zanger. Jean, this has got a wonderful, rich heritage here. Well, the location has developed through the years. Really, in the early 60s, there was just a fruit stand that was here. And then came the, the uh, restaurant, which is 24 hours. Soon after that, there was a gift shop, and then there was the wine tasting, Casa de Burger. There was also, uh, in addition of the train, we now have a carousel. A sluice, we've got a 24-hour Chevron fuel station, and of course the RV park came in early on because we had a lot of people that wanted to stay here at the location and enjoy the natural beauty of the hills and, and uh, farming area that was here at Casa de Fruta. I think I heard you make reference earlier to that. It was like a, this is like a complete village. It is. It's uh, an it's, RV village. Yeah. You know, you have the, one, what, is it, what did you call that area in the back there, the country orchard? We have our country park that's down below the, uh, the RV park itself, so we've got uh, a typical RV park setting. It's in amongst the trees with the, the full hookups that are there. But in addition to that, we have the grass area down below that you're in amongst shaded trees. And we have a number of events and activities that are down there. So if you're coming to the location and just want to get away, you can spend some time nice and quiet down amongst the trees. But if you'd like, you can come on up to the location here and get a sense of what Casa de Fruta is today, having grown from that one cherry stand. That was so much fun. You know, Casa de Fruta really is an RVer's paradise. Steve, hey, I'm standing in uh, the hauler part of the toy hauler. Did I say that right? Well, that's considered the garage. Okay, the garage. And probably the most important part of a toy hauler is the garage. So yeah. this is where all the toys come in. And uh, notice in this garage here that we have two queen-size beds. Yes. And these are power beds. These beds lift all the way up to the top so that toys can come in. Oh, really nice. Yes, and this particular bed here also doubles as a couch. As you can see, just by lifting this up, you have a double couch that faces both directions. Okay, so if I don't have toys, I just want the toy hauler because I want to take this and get the view of the ocean. Perfect idea. Or I want to bring this to my kid's hockey game mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. swim meet, whatever. Right, I'm, I mean, look at the panoramic view you have out here just by sitting here. Or my in-laws come to visit and I just want them to have their own suite. It you makes, know what I'm it, saying? It, makes into a, <laughs> <laughs> it does, it makes into a bedroom as well. Well, this is really nice. Well, come on inside, let me show you the rest. Okay. Wow, oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? I had no idea. Jules, toy can I get you a refreshment? Yes, beverage. I'd love a water, okay. thank you. I had no idea how nice these were. Now, and this is a for sale by owner, am I wrong? That's correct. Okay, this, this is looks a, this, brand new. This is a for sale by owner, it's an 09. Okay. It's a 38 footer, it's a Fleetwood. And um, what's we, the price on this? This one is thirty-eight nine nine. And how much would it be brand new? If you're looking at a new one, you're probably looking at about seventy-five to eighty thousand. And as you can see by looking at this, uh, it looks like brand new. Yeah. You know, so it's a couple of years old. Uh, this uh, particular coach, uh, we do offer warranties for this coach. Okay, so the well, new buyer. What, can I interrupt you for just a second? Sure. That's what I wanted to ask you. With in purchasing a for sale by owner or selling, suppose I have a an RV that it's time for me to upgrade, mm -hmm. and I want to sell. Um, I don't know, is it going to cost me anything to bring my RV here? How does that work? No, uh, what we do is we do an evaluation of your coach that you want to sell. Okay. And we do that in writing with you. We do a contract with you. And then all the selling 
is left up to us. It's kind of turnkey to you. I can wash my hands and go away. Com completely. Until uh, I pick up my, you know, check. You pick up your check. You bring in the, you bring, <laughs> once you bring in the title, and then we, uh, we give you your check for that. But um, we, uh, offer, uh, we offer financing. Okay, we take in trades. We have professional sales force. We also do all the advertising for you as well. We have the internet. We got TV. We have like radio. Like right now? Just like right now. I, just, obviously, just, we're just, advertising just like this. this coach. And this is no cost to you at all. So once we agree to that price, uh, all the marketing and everything else, all the transactions, all the DMV work, all the financing arranged for the new buyer coming in uh, is all handled by us. Okay, so now what's the success rate uh, if I bring my RV here to sell it? Right now we have been uh, experiencing 87% success rate. Oh. And, we, and we contract you for uh, 90 days and in that period of 90 days we're having an 87% success rate. The reason we're having that success rate is uh, we have a, a complete reconditioning department as well uh -huh. so that the new buyer coming in is really like you're looking at this coach here look how beautiful it is yeah. we've gone through this we've shampooed the carpets we have plastic down everything has all been detailed inside well okay also what's really important to me is we agree on a price mm -hmm. right okay i don't have to worry about negotiating back and forth you take care of that you offer financing so i know the buyer has the money mm -hmm. obviously I mean, correct but another thing that's really a huge benefit for me i don't want strangers coming over to my house I don't even want to meet with strangers and, and negotiate because there's too many unanswered questions and it just it's not comfortable. Right, that's probably the biggest reason why people want to consign their coach. They don't. They want to be kind of anonymous. Right. A lot of times, if if you're dealing with the buyer directly and you sell them their coach, and if there's something that breaks in the coach, they're going to come knocking on your door and saying, "Hey, well, this needs to be fixed. You didn't tell me about this." So they're really an anonymous person. They're a third party. They do own this coach, but we keep them outside the loop so that they're not involved in any of the negotiations. Okay, so as a seller, financing is taken care of. I know it, it's a done deal as far as the contract price we agree to. Mm -hmm. I don't have to have strangers come to my house. And while the coach is here, I don't have to pay for storage, do I? That's correct. Free storage. That's, Love that's it. That's correct. And notice, too, uh, as you walk around the outside of this lot, it's all secured. It's all fenced and secured. So your, your investment is protected as okay. well as that. So this is the way to go if I want to sell my RV. Now, what about if I'm the buyer? Why would I come here as opposed to going online or, you know, uh, very very, good, very, 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 very good question. Uh, getting back to our 87% success rate. Okay, so we are selling these coaches. So we are pricing these coaches with a little margin in there for us. Okay, that covers all these items that I mentioned to you. So people come here and they see the the, the values. This particular coach in, in question here. You know, here's really half half off what you can buy a new one for, and it's like new. So I also know what I'm buying. Exactly. There's peace of mind I'm mm -hmm, buying mm -hmm. also, and that's hugely important because if you buy an RV from just anybody, how do I really know what I'm getting? Well, that's uh, a great question because you know we have our full service department here, so the buyer coming in gets a complete walkthrough with our technicians. So we show them how everything operates, and you know, a lot of times they're first-time buyers. And one thing that uh, that we do also is we you know we take trade-ins. This also for the consignor. Uh, does not have to worry about being involved in a, tr a trade. Okay, so we good. actually take the trade. Well, in. I just get excited about selling my RV mm -hmm. or buying it, and I don't have any worries. It's it's turnkey to you, Joyce. Well, I, yeah. I love all that, and that can make a buyer or a seller feel really secure. And mm -hmm. obviously, you know, you've, you've been doing this a long time, but I'm, I'm getting really excited to have a look inside here. What are all these bells and whistles? Tell me all the goodies. Well, you're looking at, like I say, it's a... I mean, a, it's it's a, start out with how comfortable it is. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Th this out. has, uh, this can sleep 12, this can sleep 12. As we pointed out earlier in there, we had the, uh, the two queens. We have a loft up here. Here, this breaks down to a bed. This is a bed, and then you have your uh, your main living area up there, where where the bathroom is and the shower and such. Full size and bathroom, full exactly. size shower. We call it residential because it's really large. It is, that's and really, I can really bring large. my son's entire soccer team because there's 12. That's right, and you can lock the door and keep them in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is beautiful. I love the flat screen TV. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize RVs had those. Now, what's that down? It looks like a speaker. Yeah, that's a subwoofer down there. Uh, this is really kind of a really tricked out coach. I mean, you know, people that are toy hauling, they're out with their friends, they're out, and everything's opened up, and, you know, they got their stereo blasting. And, uh, well, I've heard the, the word kids. man cave lately. I'm thinking well, I'm sitting yeah, in one. Yeah, you, I would say you, well, you know, this is a real typical of one. I mean, beautiful. Look at the woodwork. It's beautiful. I mean, this is a you man know? cave, but I can handle it if my husband wants it because I have the niceties for me, too. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. got a nice sink. Mm -hmm. um, a nice burner stove. I love actually the wood grain. It kicks mm -hmm. it up a little bit mm -hmm. on the luxurious factor mm -hmm. and everything's really comfortable. So I guess I could I could deal with a man cave like this, I think. It's pretty nice. Very easily. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Well, one of the good things here at Seagrin's RV is that Randy is all about being a giver. Don't forget, when you take delivery of your RV, he will give you an RV park guide so you know where to go, a great set of Corel dishes, of course, the RV cover, a stainless steel barbecue, and a new RV starter kit so you can be on your way the day you take delivery of your RV. 
So come and see us. It is so much fun here, so easy to get to. We are just 25 minutes south of San Jose, off the 101 freeway, right at the Gilray Outlets. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more amazing RVs and the latest in toy haulers when we return. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. RV with me and see Grins. Well, we're back at the Seagrins RV showroom, and I'm standing in a Cyclone, which is the number one luxury toy hauler. These are just beautiful. Even if you're not into all-terrain vehicles or toys, let me tell you something. This is pure luxury. Let's go have a peek. Even just walking in here, I can't wait to see all the amenities of this toy hauler. This is just incredible. Rick. Hi, Jewel. I'm so glad you were in here waiting for me. Because I, I wouldn't even, I don't even know <laughs> everything about toy haulers. They're beautiful. Yeah. I know you're one of the toy hauler experts here at Seagrins RV, so tell me the amenities. Well, you know, this is a 40-foot cyclone, the number one selling coach in the country. And this happens to be a high-end luxury coach. You've got high-end furniture compared to normal toy haulers solid surface countertops, stainless steel kitchen, ice four-door fridge with an ice maker. Out here, this is interesting, you got your toys out here, you close this door, and guess what? They're, your two toys are out here, you're living your life in here. Yeah, you don't have to listen to the people you invited that you didn't really want to come anyway. And you've got two doors coming in this thing, which is, which is kind of great. So it is great. This, this is just a high-end unit uh, compared to others. Toy haulers today are significantly better than they were even five years ago. Well, how okay. many does this sleep? This would sleep 12 to 14 people. Okay, and this is so beautiful. It seems like the amenities are just really top notch, but so how much How much do these run? This goes for 91,000 at list price, but I could sell this today for 69,000. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? I, yeah. mean, I mean, that's just like, this is a vacation home. I mean, why would I go anywhere? I mean, the thing that I love about these is having the, the you know, toy hauler, uh, hauler garage end, whatever you call it, I'm mm -hmm. a novice at this, is that I can take this to the beach or the mountains or my kid's soccer game or even the desert. I mean, this is just, there's no, no limit to where you can go with one of these and I still have all the comforts of my own house. That's correct. At an affordable price. Yep, that's correct. I mean, correct. Th this is just the way, what about the bedroom and the, and the uh, bathroom here? Well, if you, know, if you look up in the, in the bathroom, you'll see you have a, residential neo-angle shower like you would have at home. Mm -hmm. Porcelain toilet, two doors going into the bathroom, which means when you're in the bedroom and you have your bedroom door closed, your guests can use the bathroom without intruding into your bedroom. Oh. It's a wonderful thing. Right, well this has all the luxuries. But now suppose this is just a little too large for me and my family. What other options are here at Seagrens? I have many, many options. I've got trailers from 18 feet up to 31 feet. I have fifth wheels starting at 28 feet. And those are toy haulers? Those are all toy haulers. Okay. And the prices go anywhere from nineteen nine ninety five up to about thirty two, thirty four thousand. dollars 34000 Okay, and how would, okay. I how would I know what's right for me? Can you folks help me out with that when I come down here? Absolutely. I just want to know what your tow vehicle is, and you tell them what your tow vehicle is, and I'll show you something you can tow. Okay, and even the smaller ones, do they also sleep more people? Or, or, I mean, it doesn't have to be this big to sleep, you know, uh, more than four people. Generally, some of the small ones will sleep four to six with no, no problem whatsoever. Okay, so they're okay. really well designed now. Yes. Okay, so uh, I, if I want to buy a toy hauler, I can start at what price? What's, what's the? Nineteen nine ninety five. Nine to up to about thirty eight, and then this is what again? This is sixty nine. List is. Uh, 91. Oh my gosh, Rick, people really need to come down and see you here. I'll tell you, that's uh, that's really crazy. Well, listen, yeah, the toy haulers are beautiful. There's no doubt about it. But if a toy hauler isn't for you and your family, the road treks here are incredible. Let's go take a look at them now. Well, Jim, it's so nice to know that if a larger RV is not for me, you have so many other amazing models like this road truck. Tell me about this one. Yeah, this is on a Mercedes chassis. It gets 18 to 22 miles to the gallon, nice. fully self-contained. I'd like to show you a couple features. Yeah, show me some of the things. Well, we have a, a microwave convection, a refrigerator, two burner stove. We have a toilet and shower inside the closet here. We have a king size bed, but all we have to do is push a button and it goes right into a bed. We have a wow. screen that strips around the corner. All the comforts of home. Yes, we do. I yeah, love that's it. everything. Now, I heard you got a new model by Road Trek. Tell me about that. Yeah, we just received it. We're the only one in Northern California to have one. It's called an Activity by Road Trek, and it, it'll fit in, inside the garage and it sleeps four. Perfect. And you can only get one of those right here at Seagrants. I got to find Randy. Oh, here you are. Uh, here oh, I am. I'm Jules. almost falling. I'm looking for you so often. <laughs> How you Jules? doing? Yeah. Listen, there are so many great RVs oh, here at Seagrants, but yeah. guess what else I love? The great incentives you offer our viewers oh, who actually man. come down here and purchase an RV. Yeah. Why don't we let them know? You're always looking for those goodies, I Jules. Am. Okay, so here's what we're giving everyone that says RV with me. Uh, 
park guide, beautiful park guide that tells folks where they can take their family throughout the United States. Corral dishes, flatware, an RV cover worth three to eight hundred dollars, depending on the size of their RV to protect their RV, and a stainless steel barbecue worth about three hundred and fifty dollars plus a kit that allows them to go camping immediately. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. But guess what else is easy? Get in here. All you have to do is just go 25 minutes south of San Jose, right off the 101 freeway. We're right here at the Gilroy Outlets, so it's easy to get to and so much fun. Another thing I love about your showroom, though, Randy, might sound kind of crazy, but I like the parts and accessories department. I mean, everything I want, I can get here. Um, I like the service, all that good stuff. So when we return, we are going to take a look at that service uh, parts and accessories department. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it really is fun. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. RV with me and Seagrams. Well, we're back at the Seagrams RV showroom, and I just love coming here because every time on the way down, I can get a new outfit at the outlets. Well, I stopped by and got a great outfit for this weekend, and then I started thinking, hey, I need some accessories. And when I think about accessories, Tom, you know what? I think about Seagrins RV. Oh, that's nice. I know. Let me see your little name tag here. There you go. <laughs> I know you're the manager of the RV and accessory parts here at Seagrins RV. I am. Now, RVers have a lot of choices on where to go to get their accessories. Why should I come here? Well, we have 6,000 square foot parts department, parts and accessory department. We're the largest dealer-owned uh, accessory department in Northern California. We've got great prices. And we have great experienced people to help you out, and we can install all the accessories we sell. Wonderful. Absolutely. So I can buy them here, get them installed, and, and get educated. Absolutely. That's, That's what we're wonderful. here for. That's wonderful. Well, we have some goodies here. Tell me what's going on. We do. We have some of the latest and greatest. Uh, right here, we have a 2,000-watt uh, inverter generator from Powerhouse. Uh, it's uh, lightweight. It's only 62 pounds. Uh, great price on it. It's about $399 on special, which is uh, about a third of our competitor's price. Okay, now I'm a new RVer. Why do I need a generator? Well, you would use this to, uh, to power uh, items in your coach uh, while you're out camping, also to recharge your batteries while you're not plugged into shore power. Okay, so like, like what, heat, uh, TV, what are you talking about? TV, a refrigerator, a DVD player, things like that. Oh, okay. Um, and you can also use them at home. If the power goes out, you can use it to keep your refrigerator uh, running, things like that. So so everyone should have one of those. Absolutely. Storm or whatever. Especially in uh, earthquake country. Okay, well, I like that too, because if I have one of those and I'm out RVing, I feel like I'm in a hotel. Life is good. Absolutely. Okay, what do we got here? Well, we've also got a couple of different satellite dishes. These are some of the latest and greatest. We have okay. a small Weingard carryout antenna, which is a manual antenna, but it's lightweight, can go anywhere with you and set up quickly and easily. Okay. We also have the tailgater by Dish Network, which is a fully automatic satellite dish. You can set this anywhere, push a button, and it's automatic. And about five minutes after you uh, set it up, you're watching TV. It's extremely lightweight, that too. That is wonderful. Yeah. I love that. Well, what you got in front there? Well, the latest in green, we've got some solar panels. Uh, we've got a small solar panel here that will uh, help maintain your batteries while your RV is uh, uh, stored. We also have uh, larger kits available uh, so you can charge your batteries while you're out camping. So everything I want, I can get here. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Tom. People are going to come down and see you. Once you actually have an RV, there are so many great places to go. Some places have actually started out really small, like Casa de Fruta. It was originally just simply a fruit stand, and now it's actually an RV village. RVing is all about family. It's about, like you said earlier, create, um, Paula, creating great memories. So, do you guys agree? Yes. You have fun out here? Yes. You enjoy your time? Yes. Okay, um, so what's your favorite thing about um, the... RV? Yeah. Eating. Eating. Drinking. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> And we, and we did share some cheese and almonds and lovely wine here, so we're, we're, we're having a fun time. We're having a good time. But now, is this your first RV? Second. Second. Second RV? Second RV. And so how, what made you upgrade? How long were you in your first one? Um, how long were we in our first one? Uh, about a year, maybe, a year or so. Um, we lived in it while we remodeled our home, so then we got tired of it. We had to get something different. Something new. Yeah. Something exciting. Something okay, yeah. good, good. Yeah, but we know that we want to do it forever. Oh, good, forever. good. And so as the family, if, as the family grows, the RV will grow, or? Yes, we're discovering that now. We have the 26-foot trailer here, and um, we bought it. Our children were much smaller, so now we're looking at upgrading probably to a larger type fifth wheel. So do you come out and camp and then take advantage of all the amenities out here and then go out Take day a little, trips? A little bit of everything. We do a little bit of shopping, you know, a little bit of sightseeing, a little bit of eating. <laughs> well, Brandy, and all that started from just one little fruit stand. Yeah, can you believe that? So fun. Yeah. 
Well, you know, I was browsing around at your accessories department. I'm telling you, there really is something here for everybody. Well, we try. <laughs> I saw these string lights set. I mean, that just makes me feel instantly like party and good times. Oh, man, that is partying and good times. No question about that. Yeah. Talk about lighting up the RV. Yeah, well, now that I've got you with me, listen, yeah. I got an, actually, we had an email last week. Um, there it is. Okay, Anthony, he sent us an email. Um, he watched our show. We're talking about storage. Him and his wife are concerned they really can't find affordable storage. Can you help them out with that? Well, you know, if Anthony's in the city limits, sometimes you have to go out of the city limits. And if you go out, just barely go out of the city limits, you'll find that in more rural areas, storage is very inexpensive and very accessible. Okay, you need to know where to go. Absolutely. Great. All right, well, listen, not only are you the answer man, but you also, you're, you're really about giving back. I know you are. Yeah, we try. Yeah, listen, so why don't you talk about the incentives? Okay, well... Uh, to anyone that uh, selects an RV from Seagrens RVs, we'll give them a great guide that'll tell them about all the RV parks and national parks throughout the United States. This is wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, we're giving them a, a great stainless steel barbecue unit that has a value of about $350. Uh, an RV cover to cover their RV and protect it. Value anywhere from three to eight hundred dollars, depending on the size of the RV. Fabulous. And a set of great dishes and silverware. Perfect. Well, let's tell them where to come. We are just twenty-five minutes south of San Jose, off the one hundred and one freeway, right at the Gilroy L. It's, it's easy to get to. Or go to RV with me and Seagrins.com. There you go. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. RV with me and Seagrins. Randy, we had so much fun today, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. Why don't you recap the goodies? Okay, so we have the RV park guide, the corral dishes, the flatware, the beautiful stainless steel barbecue, and the RV cover. Fantastic. Well, we are just 25 minutes south of San Jose, right off the 101 freeway at the Gilroy Outlets, so it's easy and so fun. Until next time, let's create some great adventures together. RV with me and Seagrins.